Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the theater. I am here, I am exhausted. I did not sleep well last night, and like, smoke, smoke. So that's great. I am currently in the sewing room. It's normally our um, boardroom, but it's been converted to a sewing room, and um, I've closed all the windows in the theater, in everybody's office upstairs, and I'm hoping that I can be here for a while. Um, I have my regular mask that I made yesterday. I have my Vogue mask, which is an N99 filtration mask that I specifically got because of forest fires. And um, I have allergy medicine. I also brought lunch. We'll see how this goes, basically. So I'm just gonna have my breakfast drink here real quick, I think and um, then get to sewing. Like, that's, that's the pile there. Come on, that pile right there. So many. <laughs> and this is the pile I was working on yesterday. These ones have the straight seams sewn, and then these ones have all of the seams sewn, I think, and then these ones are not sewing at all. Like with when I'm making scrunchies, I prefer to have a like assembly line going on. So my plan is just to sew a bunch of the tops and then a bunch of the sides after probably a couple hours and then go from there. Well, that happened. <laughs> it was here, but because this material is like so slinky, it just kept falling off and kept falling off. So I lifted it up and it was like, bye. Anyways. I have all the sides sewn on the stack of 15 here. So next is to pin them because I think this one's completed. Yeah. I gotta sew this little part together here um, to go over the, the arm rest a little bit more. But yeah, it's like 12.30 and I've been sewing for, I would say about four hours total, set up time and then taking my break and stuff and like, this next part, the pinning is going to take a while, but then I think the sewing is going to be quick, and then putting the magnets in is going to be a pain because you got to tuck them into the corners. Where I've got like this little pocket here, I got to tuck them in there, and that's going to be a pain. But then when that is done, I will have 15 seat covers done, which is exciting. But before anything, I have to pick up those stupid pins. Well, hello, it is many hours later. The last clip, uh, I made sure that everything was plugged in properly, but I clearly did not make sure that the receiver was on, but that is okay. Um, I'm just gonna try to voice it over. It's probably loud because I have fans going like every which way, but it is pretty warm in here. Oh, it's almost 27 degrees. Um, I'm doing a lot better since I have been home because I have not been exposed to the elements. My face has cleared up quite a bit. It hasn't been irritated, so that's that's great. And I've just been legitimately folding fabric, cutting off like all the um, the threads that came off. You know, when you wash fabric, it does that. And um, then folding it. My mom was very nice and she started washing the fabric while I was at work and then when I came home from work she was also very nice and continued to wash it because the distance and the smoke but here's the situation so these are like all my half meters or like this one's over half a meter but yeah and then <laughs> these are a meter 
all a meter. This guy's three meters, and then like all a meter, and then there's another stack back there. It's a little excessive. I am aware tomorrow I'm gonna take pictures of all the fabric I have because people do want me to make masks for them, and then hopefully I'll get the set of four masks that I wanna make for a friend done, um, or at least cut out, and um, yeah, then we'll go from there, and then at some point, I need to iron those Frenchies, but that can be another day. Anyways, I was exhausted at like 8.30 and it is now midnight, so I think I'm just gonna finish getting ready for bed and I will see you probably tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> Good night.